Good morning and welcome to this semi-final encounter in the men's IFCPF World Cup. We're here at the Football Salad Complex and I'm Jude Aston and I'll be taking you through this blockbuster semi-final encounter between Brazil and Iran. As both teams line up opposite me. As we will hear both nations national anthems. As we have heard both national anthems for this semi-final encounter. I'm Jude Aston and I'll be taking you through this semi-final encounter. It's going to be an excellent matchup between two sides. Brazil, the world ranks second. Iran, world ranked third. Let's go for your teams for this fixture. So, in goal. In goal for Brazil. It's Moncher Fernando. Number two, João Victor. Number three, Heiter Luiz. Number five, Jefferson Luiz. Number six, Herbert Anario. Number nine, Jefferson Miranda. And number 11, Mateus Aprocido. As for Iran, it's number one, Navab in goal. Number four, Safari. Number five, Shakui. Number seven, Bashki. Number eight, Tisbo. And number nine, Shabazi, as well as Morabian, is your number 14. Your captains for both sides are Safari of number four for Iran. And Brazil, it's a goalkeeper in Fernando as both teams speak to the referees. As staff from all over the world are here to watch this game. If you are watching from all over the world, I am Jude Aston, 
And this is kicking off an action-packed day of Sarah Palsy football. Don't forget that there is women's action as well coming up. All on the IFCPF YouTube channel. As Safari approaches the referees. The other semi-final encounter that is currently underway or is about, about to get underway is Ukraine and Netherlands. Of course, the winner of this will be in the final of the men's IFCPF World Cup. As Fernando goes to his bench and gets final instruction from Brazil head coach. I have to say, it's a privilege to be able to take you through this semi-final game. As someone with cerebral palsy myself, it's brilliant to see what the game has done for me and many other people with cerebral palsy football. And this is a mark of how far it has come. As we are going to get ourselves underway, it will be Miranda that looks to get us underway for Brazil. So we just wait the referee's confirmation. The referee taking us through this fixture is Paige Bell of the United States of America. As Paige Bell gets us underway, it's Miranda that kicks the ball towards his teammate. As Louise goes long in the direction of Harino, Harino. There's Louise towards. Goes forward. Harino, Honorio. As he ran, win the ball back. Shabazi towards Tisbor, who. Scored against the United States of America. As Moravian can now bring it forward. But he goes back to his captain in Safari. As Tisbor towards Shabazi. Shabazi towards Tisbor. As Tisbor looks to take the shot. Well, it was deflected by Arapacido. As now Brazil can go forward. Miranda tries to take the shot, but it is deflected and it will be Navab that takes the goal kick. Navab, who was part of the 2022 World Cup squad, but did not feature in the final as they lost out to Ukraine. They are one game away from the final, both sides, as they look to bring the ball forward. It's Shabazi towards Tisbal. Tisbal goes to Morabian. There's Tisbal now. Iran having more of the ball in the opening stages. There's just over two minutes gone. Ball goes forward in the direction of Shakui. Well, he's booted away by Brazil's number two, which is Jao Victor. But Morabian can take the ball quickly. So he goes towards Safari. Safari now chasing the ball. Miranda trying to put Safari under pressure, but he deals with it well as it goes towards Shakui. Shakui now puts the ball. Towards Shabazi, but Shabazi 
too much pace on the ball for him, as it will be. And around corner. Paige Bell just having words with the Brazil captain, Fernando. Just adjusting something for him. As Shabazi can now take the corner. Ball goes in. Tisball with a shot. But it will be another corner. First opportunity, half opportunity there for Iran. Goes for Tisbo, who has shot in similar fashion lately, especially against the USA. As Morabian can now take the ball towards the corner flag. It will be Baski that offers support, but he offers to go to Shakui. As Shakui now has the ball towards Morabian. Morabian to Safari. Shakui. Ball met by Louise. As Louise can put the ball forward. But the ball goes out of play. Louise, who is from Sao Paulo, discovered CP football in 2021 and was part of the 2023 Parapan Triumph. As Iran now bring the ball forward. As Morabian towards Shakui. Ball is met by Louise as Louise now looks to bring the ball. Goes down in the process. Will be a foul against Iran as Brazil can take a free kick. Taken, try to be taken quickly there by Louise, but Paige Bell of the USA says it needs to be retaken. As Louise goes forward as Honorio chases. Well, it's safe comfortably by Navab. Tisbor. Safari, the Iran captain, was part of the 2022 World Cup. As Shakui can go forward. Shakui again. Battles with the ball. As Tisbor is first to that ball. Morabian, Baski, blocked well by Louise. Tisbor in the opening stages of this game as six minutes gone, being very central to everything Karan does with the ball. His ball looks to go forward to, towards Shakui. As uh, Shakui goes down, but it's a shot taken by Morabian. Too much pace on that ball as it goes over. Will be a goal kick for Brazil as Fernando goes to get the ball. Fernando, who is from Campo Grande, part of the 23 Para Panam winning team, as the captain, he joined the squad for the 2023 tournament. It's Louise that takes this long ball, but it's met by Bashki. Tisbor.
It's one back by Hanna Rio. As Rio can drive, Hanna Rio can drive forward. Goes in the direction of Miranda, but it's saved by Navab. There's now Shabazi might be on the counter attack. Blocked nicely by Brazil. And Miranda now has the ball. Links up well with Hanna Rio. As Brazil look to build up from the back. Apresido tries to get the ball forward, but it's unlucky for Brazil. As Paige Belt just sends some instructions to Safari. Morabian. Tabashki. Bashki to Tisbor. Tisbor signalling for Safari to come forward, to which he does. Miranda goes down, who seems to be in a bit of trouble. Holding the back of his left leg. Seems as though he's in a bit of pain. So Brazil will assist from their medical team. Seems as though he is struggling, Miranda. He travelled to the 2022 World Cup, Miranda did. He joined the national programme in 2018 and has been part of the 19 squad, 2019 squad and as well as the 23 para pang squad. But he does seem to be in a bit of trouble as the medical team still assists. But it is a drop ball as Brazil find themselves down to... One less player. As the ball is won back by Brazil. It's Aposito, who's looked lively for Brazil so far. As a shot is taken. Well, it's won back by Tisbort. Morabian now. Towards Baski. Seems as though Miranda. Will try to continue as he hobbles onto the pitch. A reminder if you are new to cerebral palsy football, roll ins are available as part of the game, as well as we'll be operating under half an hour halves, 30 minutes that is. It's been a pleasure to be able to take you through this World Cup, both the men's and the women's. as Brazil can bring the ball forward. As Brazil head coach is signalling to Miranda. Quite vocally, Brazil bench becoming very vocal at the moment, as it will be a roll in. It will be De Santos by the looks of things. No, it won't be. It will be Honorio that takes this free kick opportunity. Apologies if I do get the play. It's 
quite difficult to see here at the Slough Football Complex. We are quite a long way in the commentary gantry. Nevertheless, it is a very good game and I am enjoying this fixture in the opening 13 minutes or so as it looks like Aprocedo will be taking this corner as Victor is in the box alongside Miranda too. Corner taken, but Brazil can't threaten with that. I do wonder if Miranda is struggling and is trying to get through the pain barrier as he is struggling to move and is hovering around the penalty area as Morabian can go forward. Towards Shakui. Shakui now. Ball taken. Tis bought. Wonderful save by Fernando. And Iran managed to win themselves a corner there. And it looks like Miranda is struggling as he once again seeks medical assistance. You do wonder how long Brazil will give it before they decide to make any more changes. As just in front of me now, Miranda is hobbling towards the bench. Brazil a player down as they go forward now though, but they can't threaten. Will be interesting to see what Paige Bell and the USA thinks of this. Numerous stoppages for Brazil and Miranda. But it will be Iran that progresses the ball forward. As Shabazi now picks up the ball. Tisbo. There's a foul there by the Brazil number two. Victor. As Tisbor now shoots, tries to shoot from range, but it's a wonderful block from Aprazido. But it's won back swiftly by Iran. As Shabazi takes a shot, Shakui follows up after the goalkeeper parries it, but it's saved and it's in the hands of Fernando. That was a chance and an opportunity for Iran as the pressure went on. Just an update on Miranda, who we know is currently on the Brazil bench. Looks very disappointed. Head in his Brazil shirt. And seems as though he is really struggling. Not what we want to see here at the World Cup, as two players are currently down for Brazil, as well as Fernando, Fernando the Brazil goalkeeper. Coming off in a semi-final. Will not be what you want to feel ahead of potentially a big game. Biggest game of your careers, maybe, in a World Cup final. But Miranda does stand up now, still feeling the back of his hamstring. Well, also, Fernandez, Fernando receives treatment too. A reminder of today's action, we've got a massive day in the IFCPF Women's World Cup as Japan and Ireland will battle it out for third and fourth places in the Women's World Cup. And then this afternoon, it's a big one, doesn't get any bigger than this. It's Australia, the world ranked number one against the reigning champions, United States of America. That's your final in the Women's World Cup. So you want to stick around after this fixture 
as there are plenty of action currently happening. So we will be getting back underway as Fernando takes a long kick. 18 minutes gone on the clock. A few stoppages in this game so far. And while Fernando was receiving treatment, it's Miranda that has got back onto the field. So Brazil are back to a full squad now as Iran go forward. Bashki to Shibazi. Tisbor to Morabian. Tisbor takes a shot in the direction of goal, but it's, it's dealt with by Asprezino. And that was a chance for Iran. Brazil looks to launch the ball forward, but it's good pressure by Moravian. Yes. Luiz can go forward. Good pressure by Apresido. Safari now. Towards Shibazi. Safari to Bashki Tisbor Morabian back to Safari the Iran captain Bashki Tisbor takes a shot from range too much pace on that ball means that Tisbord doesn't get the opportunity he hopes for and Victor goes down as well as another Brazil player. Seems as though it is on a Rio that he's down but seems as though he will be okay and I do wonder if there is a problem for the Brazil goalkeeper Fernando as Brazil's number 12. The silver has come to warm up in front of me. We obviously saw Fernando go down moments ago and you do wonder whether Brazil would look to make a change as Fernando is currently struggling. Stop-start stop, stop start game at the moment for Brazil. They'll be frustrated as they haven't been able to create any momentum in this game. Injuries a real problem for them as Miranda and... Fernando being victims of injuries, but it will be Fernando that goes again as he looks to take this ball long. Seems as though he will be happy to stay on the pitch. Just keep an eye on that one, we will. As the ball goes long towards Apresido. Won back successfully. As now Brazil can go on the counter. Ball goes long towards Honorino. But it's one back. As Iran now can go forward. Iran has gone forward many times in this opening 22 minutes or so. Bashki to Morabian. Tisbor. Tries to get the ball forward, but it's blocked nicely by Apresido. Morabian. Shakui. Tisbor. 
towards Shakui. Murabiyim. Towards Shabazzi, who takes a shot. Courageous block there by Aprocedo. Morabian. Tabashki. Back to Morabian. Who goes in the direction of Shakui. Referee. Just. Directing the Brazil official to go back to his bench as there were two coaches on the sideline. The fourth official says that that can't happen. So the Brazil coaching team go back to their bench as Morabian. Tisborne now. Back to Morabian as Shakui. He's tried to put the ball forward, but... It's blocked by Louise. Seems as though Iran has had majority of the play. Brazil have had moments where they've tried to get the ball forward, but it's been defended and dealt well with by Iran. As Bashki. Morabian, back to Shabazi. Shabazi puts the ball towards the Kiwis, tries to put it in the box, but Honorio defends well. And it seems to be a battle of the two defences at the moment in this game, as both def defences doing well. But he will be Louise. But as briefly mentioned, it's, it's picked up well by Iran. As Tisborne can now go forward, takes a shot from range, wide of the post. We've seen Tisborne many times this World Cup go forward as he just did. He found himself in space and the ball just, just glided past the post. Opportunity there for Iran through Tisborne. Is Fernando that is down once again. A very frustrating and stop-start game as Brazil's medical team approach the pitch, but it will be Bell, it will be Paige Bell that instructs the medical team to come on. And as previously mentioned, it is Bruno de Silva from Campo Grande who has played outfield previously, who is warming up alongside me, taking shots from his coaching staff as Fernando is down again. Third time in his game. Brazil will be very frustrated that they haven't been able to create any momentum through this game due to the, due to the number of injuries. be interesting to see what decision Brazil take now. And it looks as though it will be a change potentially. As De Silva takes his bib off. And Fernando does look disappointed to be coming off, shaken of the head. And it is a real shame when you see players in this position representing your country at World Cup. Not many can say that. But to have to come off an injury when you've had so many opportunities representing your country must be a feeling that would be hard for all to take. So it will be a change. 
There's Bruno De Silva replaces Fernando. Then De Silva will have to get up to speed to this game quickly as Iran have been pressing well and have been taking shots from range. A reminder that after this game in the Women's IFCPF World Cup, Ireland will, will play Japan to see who can get that bronze medal. Uh, Shakuri now comes forward. Safari. Shot taken. Cross the face of goal. Brazil not threatened there, but it will be a roll in for Morabian. Morabian. To Safari. Tisbor. Tisbor. To Bashki. Tisbor. Takes a, tries to take a shot from range. And Morabia now has the ball. Looks to cut inside and she supports to Bazzi. Wonderful save by the substitute for Brazil. As Shabazi battles for the ball. And that was a wonderful spell of pressing from Iran. Chance on shot on goal was the save from De Silva. His first real save of the game as he's come on in his last few moments. And we are into the 30 minutes with the score being Brazil nil, Iran nil. As Shabazi goes forward, it's Baski. And that was an opportunity and Baski could put the ball in the net. It was a practically an open goal. But Baski puts the ball over. One opportunity in the closing stages of the first half between Iran and Brazil. So it will be Morabian that takes the short corner to Baski. Baski back to Morabian. Tisbor now. Morabian. Baski, Safari, but he go long, Morabians in support, as well as Baski, blocked by Louise, and that's a chance, it's Baski, who just had an opportunity, who put the ball over the bar, well it's Iran, they're open the scoring in the closing stages of this first half, Iran have been pressuring the Brazil defence, and it's been a battle of two great defences in this first half. But it is Baski of Iran that unlock that Brazil defence in this semi-final encounter. Baski with a strike. And it's Brazil nil, Iran one in this semi-final encounter between the IFCPF Men's World Cup. Baski towards as Iran can go forward once again and that's another goal for Iran two goals in quick succession for Iran this time it's Shakui Shakui found himself through on goal it's a very tight angle and did very well to get the ball in from that angle Shakuri, who is part of the 2018 Asia Oceania Championships, was one of two players to feature in every game in that tournament, adored the lead for Iran. It's Iran 2, Brazil 0. As Iran find a way to unlock Brazil's defence quickly in quick succession. You score at the Football Slab Complex.
Iran 2, Brazil 0. Ana Rio. Nice trickery there. Back to Ana Rio. The ball's over. And that's Paige Bell signaling to provide support to one of the Iran players. And that is a hard time whistle from Paige Belt. It's Iran 2, Brazil 0. Very frustrating half for Brazil as, has, as a number of injuries has frustrated them. They were well, did well defensively in the opening half an hour. As the Brazil head coach is very frustrated. Well, it will be. Substitution for Iran. It's the Iran captain, Safari, is taken off and replaced by Iran's number two, Rostami. So it will be Morabian that gets us back underway. We'll see how Victor Pereira's team responds. As Rostami gets the first touch of the ball. Tisbor. Shabazi. Back to Rostami. As Shakui can now pick up the ball. A reminder, there is another semi-final encounter currently happening between the Netherlands and Ukraine. The winner of this fixture will face either one of those. Morabian. Pressure from... Aprocedo. And in the opening stage of this second half, Iran just passing the ball around calmly, ensuring that Brazil can't have many opportunities. Finding a way to manage this game, Iran. There's Shakui to Shabazi. As well as 
Rostomy coming on. It looks as though Garabini Amarosin has also come on for Iran. Played Bell of the USA has halted play here as an Iran player is down. Looks as though it is the substitute, but rather quickly back to his feet. As Brazil now looks for ball, body. it's an opportunity for. Iran. A reminder that Brazil had to make a substitution for their goalkeeper as Fernando went down a number of times in the first half. So it was De Silva that had to be replaced. De Silva now on the pitch, of course. Tisbor. Shabazi. Looks like Iran is picking up the second half where they left off in the first half. Controlling the ball. Shakuri. Towards Shabazi. As the ball goes long, but... That'd be very successful. Brazil can come forward now. It's Aprecido. See, so he goes down. So, it will be a free kick for Brazil. As the ball goes in. Chance there for Victor. Shabazi. As Aprecido comes forward, Brazil. Looking more confident on the ball, but it is Shakiri that goes forward as substitute turns quickly for Iran. Amir in Asin, of course. Shabazi.
Yes, Brazil win the ball back. And it's an opportunity now for Brazil. Pushed out nicely by Rostami. Uh, Shabazi can now go forward. Nice block from Victor. As Tisbor can go forward. Takes a shot from range, Tisbor. But too much pace means it remains Iran 2, Brazil 0. Looks as though Brazil are preparing a substitution. As Aprecido can go forward in the direction of Luiz. One back by Morabian. And that's what I mean in this game, is that both teams have had opportunities to try and go forward. But every time they do, particularly for Iran in this second half, Iran know how to deal with it, know how to, how to defend successfully and well. As Brazil look to make a change, it might be to try and unlock that defence for Iran. Because Brazil aren't getting too much joy through the middle. Shabazi. Tisbor. Tisbor again. Can go forward now. But it's won back by Aprecido. As Aprecido makes a long run, but the ball is lost. As Shabazi can go forward now. As Victor goes into space. Victor. Not enough connection on that ball. And Shabazi can go forward. The new Brazil head coach, Victor Pereira, frustrated as Brazil are forced to make a save there. Will be a substitution. It will be Honorio that comes off. It will be replaced by Eduardo Felipe. It's his first World Cup. Making his debut as he didn't feature at the 22 and 23 tournaments. So, the ball will be taken quickly. Morabian to Rostami. Rostami to Tisbo. Tisbo. And there is a grouping of the players around the referee, surrounding the referee. So, it will be Morabian, who is hovering over this ball at the moment, as well as Rostami. And also, Shabazi is around to support. So, Morabian and Rostami as well as Shabazi. Look to confuse the Brazil squad in terms of who can take this. We do go short towards this ball as Shabazi takes a shot from range. Saved comfortably by Brazil goalkeeper.
Substitution for Iran as Shabazi leaves the field. Will be replaced by Abadi. Abadi was part of the 2022 World Cup squad, but did not feature in final loss to Ukraine. Baddy to Tisbort. A reminder that the IFCPF Women's World Cup action is concluding today as we have the third place decider between Japan and Ireland as well as the final that doesn't get much any bigger than this, does it? It's Australia, who are ranked number one, against the current World Cup champions, United States of America. But we've got this first, as we are on the ball with Iran, but he blocks out of play. Navab will take the goal kick to shorts towards Abadi. Tisbor. As Iran go forward, look to bring the ball. Will be. A kick in for Iran as Ross to me. As Shakui goes down, there seems to be in a bit of pain here. As Page Bell stops the play. Chukui currently down. As we are going to get back underway. Reminder of the current score, Iran 2, Brazil 0, as Rostami goes forward, back to Rostami, Abadi, Tisbort, towards Shakui, who can drive forward into the space now, blocked by Brazil, defence, def Brazil can now go on a counter-attack. Is the ball pull in? Well, it's unsuccessful. As it will be a substitution. It's Tisbort, who have been very successful at shooting from range in this World Cup. He'll be taken off and be replaced by Rez E. So, it's a long ball. To Morabian. 
to Ibadi as Amir Asin tries to put the ball towards his teammate, but it goes back to the Iran defence. Iran just tactically trying to see out this game, slowing down the play at times, but picking their moments when to go forward as they are now through Shakiri. Nice battle there by Brazil substitute Felipe as Felipe can go forward. Felipe is on his own as Brazil reinforcements try and support him. As Felipe goes down, the Brazil national team calling for a penalty. Looking towards Paige Bell, but Paige Bell says no. And they are very frustrated now, Brazil. They feel that they should have had a penalty. Did see minimal contact from the Iran defender. As a foul has gone against Brazil. And in the meantime, Aprecido has received a yellow card. It's Shakui that's down, feeling the back of his right hamstring as the medical team come on for the first time, I believe, in this game. The score in the other semi-final is Ukraine 1, the Netherlands 1. I've been reliably informed. So, as it stands, it will be Iran in the final and it will be one of Ukraine and the Netherlands. We'll see if they break the deadlock. We'll try and bring you updates as well as this game goes along. There's Rostami to Shakui. Shakui to Morabian. Morabian takes a shot. And that's a goal from Morabian. A long range chance from Morabian, who had confidence to take the shot. And it's Iran 3, Brazil 0. You get the sense now that Iran had booked their place potentially in the final as it's a wonderful strike from Morabian. Morabian had played all of the games at the World Cup. And has ensured that Iran extend their lead against Brazil. Iran 3. Brazil nil. So it will be Brazil that gets us underway here. Ball goes long as Felipe can chase. Felipe wins the ball. He has Victor in support, but it's Blocked nicely by the Iran defence. As Paige Bell says, play on. As Iran now can go forward. Confidence within this Iran team is very good in the closing stages of this game. Rostami. 
Morabian, the goal scorer, moments ago. Abadi to Shakuri, Shakuri to Rostami. Shakuri, Morabian. Rezi. Shakuri. As we enter the final seven minutes or so of this game. It's Shakui. Morabian. Shakui. Abadi. As Brazil have the ball now. Everybody, Shakuri. Ross to me. As the ball goes forward, but it's blocked. Shakui. Over five minutes left. As the ball goes forward, it's a strike. For Iran, they extend their lead once again. It's Iran 4, Brazil 0. <laughs> Wonderful strike there from Iran. Means it's Brazil 0, Iran 4. Final few minutes of this game. And Brazil can go forward.
As Brazil go forward. Brazil now. Final two minutes of this game. So, a reminder that the score here is Iran 4, Brazil 0. A confident performance from Iran as they seem to book their place in this IFCPF Men's World Cup Final. As Brazil build up from the back. Of course, they'll be disappointed with this result, but plenty to be positive about. Representing your country at a World Cup is one uh, not many can say. As they come forward. As Brazil go forward now, have an opportunity. Could it be a late chance for Brazil? Blocks away from Iran. As now Brazil battle for the ball in these final stages of the game. We enter the final stages. So we enter the final stages of this game. And that is the full time whistle between Iran and Brazil. It's Iran that booked themselves in the final of the IFCPF Men's World Cup. Final score here at the Salam Football Complex. It's Iran 4, Brazil 0. I've been Jude Aston and thank you very much.